Hey everybody, remodeling your kitchen? Think you've got to break the bank to get everything you want to create your dream space? Well, think again. Welcome to Around the House with Scott, and today we're going to take part one of my IKEA kitchen tour and focus on why drawers are the most amazing solution to your storage problems ever. Hey everybody, welcome to my IKEA kitchen. And I know you think IKEA, luxury kitchen. I want to re-educate you, but today in part one of this series, we're going to start with my drawers. I did not have the luxury of a big, tall area to make a big stand-up pantry. And I didn't want to be opening cupboards and bending over. So I took the infinite storage possibilities that IKEA has with their drawers and have designed a kitchen that I love. Let's look at three areas today of what I'm talking about with the drawers. First off is my pots and pan storage. I've got a big drawer right here. All my pots and pans are right here. Easy, easy access. Some of the accoutrements right below in front. Where are the lids, you say? You know what? Those lids always get lost. They're shoved to the back of the space. Not here. They're right here. And they've got their own little place to live. Easy breezy. I love it. And it's right next to the cooktop. Second, after you're finished cooking, after you've had dinner and you've got to put those leftovers away, you want an easy way that you can get to those. Well, Thanks to my organized drawer and my organized spaces, I've got everything right here. Everything just gets portioned out, put in the containers, pops in the fridge, or if I've had company and it's a to-go container, away it goes. Now, let's talk about before we cook dinner, where do we go to get our canned goods and our staples? Again, I don't have the luxury of a big, tall pantry, so let me show you where we're going to go. We're kind of going backwards now. We haven't prepped the meal yet, but we've got to get all of our accoutrements out. I love what I did with my drawers here. Shallow drawers for all my canned goods, a little bit deeper drawers for some more staples, and then my final drawer down here for those big items like protein powder, juices, etc. You know, I love IKEA, I love change and the evolution. I could not come up with exactly what I wanted to do the first time around. And the great thing about IKEA is you can design the kitchen with them, come home, play with it a bit. If you don't like a drawer or a cupboard the way it is, you can take it back. You go with one of those high end kitchen designers, you're locked into what you get. That doesn't work for me. I hope I've shared with you some options that you might have if you go with an IKEA kitchen. Stay tuned for subsequent parts because there's so many things I love about this kitchen. I can't wait to show you. Thanks for watching today. Remember, hit that like button and please subscribe to our YouTube channel below. And remember, once a week, you're going to get tips, tricks, and hacks with Around the House with Scott. Thanks for watching.